you think? Oh my god, it's just tough to get. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw off <laughs> and then you walk up to it and you turn around to take off the <laughs> jumps on your back and starts to jump in. And then he gets up. <laughs> oh, no! oh my gosh, my stomach. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh boy. Jesus. <laughs> What is up, everybody? This is your host, Jordan Risky of the Nimrod Podcast, brought to you by Prime Archery and Risky Outdoors. I know it has been a little while since we've launched a podcast. We've been gone. I've been in Nebraska, and then also uh, just recently got back from Montana with Cassandra and uh, trying to play a little catch-up. But um, this podcast is kind of a crapshoot. Uh, I've had to go through and edit a lot of it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's kind of pieced together, but... Um, Hopefully you guys enjoy. It's just kind of us guys recapping about our Nebraska hunting trip. And yeah, it's it's a crapshoot, but we had a good time recording. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, another great partner of ours, Apex Gear, has provided a promo code for all of our listeners, capital R-I-S-K-E, to receive a percentage off of your purchase. So get over there, get your archery equipment right before the season. And uh, yeah, enjoy. So uh, without further ado, <laughs> let's jump into this shindig. <laughs> <laughs> having a funeral and everything. Like, oh yeah, that donkey's dead. Should we wait for Rob? What, did, what consists of a... What does a podcast consist of? <laughs> Do I've never been it? a part Do of it. Do I want to explain it? Yeah. We just talk, man. I don't even think I've ever listened to one for more You've never listened seconds. to a podcast. Never listened to Risky No, he's probably going to get Mike happy. Like, hey! <laughs> hey! 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 Matt Trimby. Matt Trimby here. Matt Trimby. Matt Trimby. Matt Trimby. Matt Trimby. Matt Trimby. Swipe right. <laughs> you can catch me on Tinder. Yeah, Tinder, yeah, Grinder, Grinder, uh, Bumble, <laughs> StubHub. I'm everywhere, man. My handles. Uh, my handles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, please hit me up. <laughs> uh, I'm here till Friday. <laughs> Four hours in the middle of my day every day. <laughs> All the guys <laughs> willing to travel. <laughs> he, he only changed that when he came out here. <laughs> His profile edited September 1, willing to travel <laughs> for four days. <laughs> uh, I drive a rubble. <laughs> <laughs> I drive a rubble. <laughs> oh, God. That's podcast. Oh, okay. And there it is. That's a bad right there. Bad is a podcast. We literally just talk. <laughs> Thanks for the crash course there. It's it's super simple. Dave was on one, did it by himself. Yeah. I met Dave on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it was something. So <laughs> I met Dave on a podcast. <laughs> He was a nice guy until I actually physically met him. I physically saw him. That's <laughs> not exalted at all what I expected. Massive <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> what happened to your face? <laughs> Whoa, you, you look way. nothing like that picture. <laughs> so we're at deer camp in Nebraska. You go around and introduce, I mean, everybody. You can start with you, Trivi. All right, Matt Trivi. What's your handle? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have a handle. Uh, no handle. Oh, he's good. Concord handle. native, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Missed one. No, put a stock on one today. Yeah, a little disappointing, but For, first time caller, second time out here. <laughs> Davey. Dave Oakley. No, he's been around. He's <laughs> we've been around. He's, he's been on here before. <laughs> Bobos. Chris Arbuckle. Yeah. And from Concord. He brings all the hogs. Chef extraordinaire. <laughs> chef extraordinaire. The bacon Camp guy. Chef. The bacon Camp bacon. Chef. 12 pounds of bacon. An 0 for 1 so far. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. There you go, Jake. Jake. 
He's on here a lot. He's here. He's annoying. He's the killer. Oh, yeah, he is. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Rob, you and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. He's a doctor. He's a do- <laughs> learned doctor. <laughs> like Dr. Really, Rob, like sir. Really Dr. Rob, sir. <laughs> Dr. Rob, sir. Dave Bowser, Rob. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was Hawaiian. <laughs> I thought he was Hawaiian. <laughs> oh, Asian, you know, uh, squirrel hunters. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to start with you, Bob. <laughs> Explain what happened. Um, so Since you ruined morale in camp yeah. from day one. Uh, opening day out here, and I was sitting with Jake and Rob. And first light, we saw the buck that we had uh, um, glass glass the night before, and ended up putting a stalk on him. Jake and I went down, and we got within 60 yards. But as we were kind of putting a stalk on this deer. We looked to our right and noticed uh, a couple small bucks and a pretty good four by four. I think he was. Yeah, kind we got of, we got super confused because yeah. we came running through. They were. We thought that those were the bucks we were chasing. Yeah. We they stand up. We come together. We're like talking. Yards. We get a call from Rob. <laughs> the doc, the doc sitting on top of the mountain gives us a call. He's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, standing uh, there. What do you mean? The bucks are right in front of you still. Those are different deer. So, so we're like, huh? It was kind of weird because the bucks that we did see, there we knew there was two other good ones in there, and as Jake and I just kind of standing there, it's like it doesn't make any sense. It, I know there's got to be some more in here somewhere. So I I went straight and Jake went to the left on this ridge and I got to the edge, and right behind a big giant rock was four bucks bedded up and this huge muley just laying right in the middle and when I got to the edge they started to bust so I drew back and they got on top and they actually stopped and he turned broadside he was 60 yards 60 to Something 65 like yeah. and doesn't matter <laughs> we missed <laughs> it doesn't matter because we missed but I shot and I, I was aiming a little low because I was expecting them to jump the stream like they have done <laughs> last year. And I shot low. How many is that? How many bucks now? That's yes. three here. <laughs> uh, uh, three, then he runs off. He runs off. We watch a guy with a cross gun jump up and shoot him. It smoked so him. Really fun. Smoked him. It was cool. He so, smoked him. And it has been downhill since. Yeah. We don't know what it well, is. Well, for everybody else. Oh. Uh, it's, no, it's... But it was, uh... It's not like it was last year. We saw so many muleys in this valley. And they're just not here. There's yeah. a lot of does. A lot of coyotes. Lots of does, lots of coyotes. Lots of people. No, yeah, lots, lots of people. people. They, it looked like the opener in Michigan of oh. gun season on state land. Well, we heard the South Dakota... Uh, changed their <laughs> changed their opener to October first, so that's probably why. Yeah. But last year there was what eight of us maybe, but maybe. four people totally down there hunting yeah. every time. And this year there was there's a lot more deer though. Oh, a lot, a lot more, more deer. Bucks, groups of five. Yeah, there was at least you twelve, 12 guys up there. At least on. Opening day. Opening day. At one point in time, there was, what, eight down in the valley? Oh, opening day? Yeah. People? Yeah. Yeah. Pushing? That we do. <laughs> so we, we'd, like, pushing. we'd spot, you know, a group of deer or something, and we'd look, you know, on the outside of your binocular view, and there were people <laughs> just everywhere. <laughs> There's more people than deer in that valley. We, we joke about <laughs> Michigan deer drive, but it was we happening. were Michigan it, deer it, drive. It was, opening day. It was crazy. <laughs> we were pushing. Opening day. <laughs> Push them one way, they get bumped, go back the other way. You get shot with a crossbow. Yeah. It was, it's, it's been rough. Yeah. But uh, we've been seeing some deer here and there, but just not like we did last year. We're having to work a lot, a lot harder. Um, we're halfway, no. halfway through the trip and only two people have released an arrow. And last year, everybody. All six Opening of day. us by, yeah. by day by d- three. Two, three, two or yeah, day two. Like by day two. At least. Yeah, I think it was day two, everyone. Opening day, what? Three of us did? Yep. 
Yeah. Me, you, and Phil. <clears throat> and it's been slow. So, perspective from guys really who weren't slow. here yeah. last year. The big one I still think it's been a great trip. trip. Yeah. And it's not because we shot one this morning. It's because, I mean, opening day, I was with Chris. We get to 60 yards on a group of basher bucks. One's a tank. Mm-hmm. We got to shoot at it. We missed. Cool. Second day. Five Jordan and I could have spit on a white-tailed doe or fawn. Mm-hmm. F- five yards. We stocked up on a, a white-tailed, a little white-tailed buck. Five, ten yards again. Ten, probably fifteen, actually. Yeah. And then, then then we stocked up on another group of muleys and little bucks and didn't get it done. But, but you're, we're well, busy. Thing too, we're, like, we're, we're, we are stalking these two deer, and we look to our left, and there's two other guys Stalking the same exact deer. Yeah, it's just pressure. It's, it's, pressure. it's crazy. Lots of pressure. But we're still finding deer. Tribby, you had a good evening. Yeah. Tried a spot that I found last year that looked really good, but there were just too many factors that came into play that it sucked. <laughs> There's <was> people uh, <laughs> camping on the far side, which pushed everything out. There's cattle in there. Um, there was, yeah, it just wasn't a good spot last year, but went in today and there was just one other group of hunters, three guys that saw me in there. So they were actually respectful hunters. Haven't seen many of those out here this year and, uh, kept their distance and got on a nice five by five and closed the distance on them and found out that these things do actually use their nose to detect <laughs> people. Seem like it last year. I have not, not seen like a single year. mule deer out here use its nose to oh, detect people. They were just so dumb last year. So yeah. dumb. And yeah, got about <laughs> 60 yards and just started to crest the hill and saw that he was already on me before he could hear me or see me or anything so uh, got to the top, he took off, took off and had the Wind at my back, blowing right in his face, so... Yep, winded me. Fun stock, though. Yeah. Got my hopes up. Last couple of days have been super slow for me. Mm-hmm. And Trippy's put a lot more miles on the hoof than the rest of us. Oh, yeah. Done a lot of walking, seen a lot of ground. Missed out on a lot of good naps. <laughs> so, we've literally napped probably three hours. <laughs> every we get day. back today, Jimmy goes out to shoot his bow, comes back 20 minutes later, everybody's yeah. ripping <laughs> off the <dead> inside. <laughs> Went to town the out other day, cold. came back, everybody's passed out. <laughs> oh, so so I go out and I walk around in 100 degree heat while everybody else is sleeping. That's the other thing, it's way hotter this year. Oh, I think it is. Than it was really last year. <clears throat> Yesterday oh. was really hot. Today was the best day we had for weather. And Mosquitoes were uh, horrible. Oh, man. And the bugs were were not an issue at all last year. No. Hey, this man. year they definitely are. Dr. Rob, it's legitimately on the group text. <laughs> hey, guys. Any issues with mosquitoes? <laughs> hey, nope. Yeah, not at all. Seriously, there's never not a soul. Bug. Bug. <laughs> never, never, saw, never saw Never saw never a bug. Got, never got bit. Uh, I'm sorry. This year, I steered you wrong. <laughs> Freaking out like banshees. I'm out there with a thermosol that doesn't want to light. Clink, 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 clink. Doing my best to fend him off with my hat, scaring oh, everything. Oh. <laughs> I separate away. from Trivi because he's so loud, swatting the bugs. Like, I can't hop with this guy. <laughs> I was having a mental breakdown before we get to the I really was. The sun hasn't even come up. <laughs> I can't do it, man. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm so literally yourself. losing. In my mind. <laughs> oh man. Well, Rob put on a stock today. Yeah. Not successful. <laughs> it's a story of every day. Yeah. So far. A lot of rain though. So everything is a lot greener. Yeah. Than last way, year, right? way green. Makes it hard to stock when it's bushes of. Yeah. Oh, it's high. different. It's different. Yeah. It's. And almost stepped hurt. down a four foot rattler. Oh yeah. Oh, and I screamed like. A girl. <laughs> you did say <laughs> I did. I'm pretty sure that's what spooked them deer. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Jordan, Jordan saw one, huh? I sent one. Oh. Saw one. Oh, saw I saw one today. Oh, yeah, I saw a good one tonight. We'll hopefully close that chapter tomorrow. But. We'll see. 
To be continued. continued. To be yeah. continued. We're just going to do a good old-fashioned Michigan deer drive on that boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one's ever seen a dibs. I called dibs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me and Miss Daisy might go down in the holler <laughs> and see what we can kick out. <laughs> oh, that, that was what was crazy. We come crest the hill after, you know, it wasn't quite dark yet, and there was five vehicles. Yeah. And this area is not big. It's a small one. And I don't know where they were. I didn't see anybody. Five different vehicles. We saw those two guys, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, we Mich- even decided to drive to Wyoming to try to get away we from did. these people. <laughs> South Dakota, Wyoming, <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> Three hours in a truck. And it's not just us. There's other guys here that we talked to. and Saying the same thing. Same as it's, it is hard to find bucks. It has been. A lot of does. I think That's I maybe weird. saw 10 does all week last year. That's and exact opposite. I've well, seen at least 50, 60 since we've been on here. Was there just this, a ton of big bucks getting yeah. shot out here last year, too? No, uh, I don't know. No, not just during the, the boat season. season. Just the ones we killed. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't know what rifle season was. Cross Gun killed the big three yeah. last year. Davey killed a real good one. But he was like middle of the pack of that mm-hmm. group that you killed. Oh, we saw, we saw him all day, though. Yeah. Every day One, we were 140s seeing. were everywhere. Everywhere. Yep. And then but this year we got. It wasn't like an if nothing. we're going to see a nice buck. It's just like, where is he going to pop we're, up today? Yeah. <laughs> and who's going after him? Yeah. But the thing is, you'd see one buck pop up, and then it was like two minutes later, someone else was like, there's another. And you're going to four different drainages because there's different bucks, I mean, everywhere. And you were just you were moving deer. They're miles away. My, yeah. I mean, separation and everything, but. We're not seeing anything. No. Not even. The, that, that little thicket is where that guy kills them all. And they're, Remember that he, last year there was like four bucks standing under that tree at one mm-hmm. time. It That's is, where I killed mine. Yeah, yeah that, you killed you're split off from that group. And that's the rest the of them. buck I missed on the opener ran right for that, yeah. and that guy was right there. Killed him. Killed him. That's a, that's a good area, though. But, all right, we'll jump into it. Let's hear the story. Well, we did. Somebody killed something. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're not worthy. We're walking out probably less than, easily less than a half mile from here, from camp. Oh, yeah. And we're down in the big canyon, which, I don't know, literally across the street from camp. And we're walking through kind of a tunnel of cedars in the middle of the bottom here. And Rob's out front, Jordan's right right in front of him, Chris is right there. I'm standing next to Chris behind the cedars and stuff. They all freeze like there's two bucks right there. And I think I heard Jordan say 65. You guys are ranging it. I can't see these bucks, so I just start knocking an arrow, put my release on, and I'm going to step up to, like, get closer to Jordan. And Chris is like, no, no, just scoot over. (laughs) (laughs) And I see these deer. And then I see Rob Rob and Jordy start to... Just slowly <laughs> get down to their knees in front of They're them. way up on a ridge. Way up on yeah, top of way the ridge, way above them, and um, <clears throat> let one rip, and you're high five. Smoked him. You know, how, how far away was he? 70, I think. Yeah. Straight up meat missile. Double, <laughs> double long shot. and full passer. Mm-hmm. He did not go far. Maybe full. maybe 60 yards. I, I don't 70 know. yards and 70 know. pound prime and kudu. Broadhead did the job. It was not. It was so cool. It was one of the best archery shots I've ever seen on a deer. My eyes closed. I, I said, <laughs> I'm I just blacked out. Not gonna hit you guys. I just blacked out. <laughs> it, it was, was funny. Cool. Were, I didn't have any buck fever really. They weren't monsters. They were little bucks. I shot the big. I tried to shoot the bigger of the two. Um, that was, yeah, that was fun. It's cool. We were walking through, and I was like, "Stop, Rob! Stop!" And Rob's like, "What?" And I was like, two bucks." <laughs> There we look up and Jake starts knocking the arrow and I was like, Rob, we got a duck. And he's like, What? <laughs> Rob <laughs> never moved. He was absolutely frozen. Yeah. And then we ranged him and Rob and I just slowly start to kneel. <laughs> I'll, so we don't, I'll never forget this. You guys, it was just a slow, like, <laughs> synchronized. <laughs> slow, like, getting smaller in front of me. Well, I didn't want to take an arrow back to no. the dome. You forgot the best part with that cat, our little, oh, our little oh, friend. Yeah, so the whole walk out. There's this little black cat from the camp or whatever. Yeah. She's he or she's following us the whole way. <laughs> Rest the whole time I'm thinking to myself. I'm trying to think of good jokes about 
how we just got blanked as a friggin' black cat that like crossed our paths a hundred times on our walk out and sure enough here's two bucks and we shoot them and that cat came up we gutted the thing and cleaned it and it was there it was on Jordan's lap like rubbing his face <laughs> rubbing his mustache <laughs> cat's tail this thing was so moral of the story, Anna, you got a new cat coming home with Jade. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I stuffed the cat in my pack with the. No, <laughs> no like Retrieve said, R.I.P. to that cat. It no. stayed out there. There's a lot of coyotes out there. <laughs> yeah. so they love kittens. Cat. Well, <clears throat> we are in a new accommodation this year. Oh, so much better. Sand Major Creek upgrade. <laughs> it is beautiful. Who who lost the shoot off for bed though? Oh, uh, I did. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> my, to my defense, my pins were off. Oh, they were off. Uh, they were oh, off. Yeah, it must have been a bumpy ride now. It was. <laughs> yeah. It was a bumpy ride. I survived a trailer that yeah. was bouncing all over the place. But. <laughs> we went one, two. No, I put on a new tape before it came out, and my tape was like two yards low. Mm. And three feet left. <laughs> it, it, was, it was breezy every time he it shot. It was up. breezy. Every time. They just I'm shooting a heavier setup. Here's the other thing. I can't shoot at distances like these guys can because I'm not shooting flat. Mm. The it's, humidity out here. The humidity, <laughs> humidity got to me and like caught on one the of my altitude. mustaches. It's all, it's all sand in my underwear. Yeah. Like didn't sleep for what three or four days or yeah i didn't sleep for three you got days. up at 10 a.m man i drove the whole way Pyramids. here the curvature of the earth is a little different it here was. altitude there's yeah. a lot of stuff that came into factor yeah. i just wasn't planning on <laughs> yep air mattress so did, did, did you move all your stuff into the master bedroom before we went out to shoot oh them? yeah we did that was a little arrogant to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna move my fun. stuff in here yeah. because i'm getting the master so uh, but I'm still in the master bedroom. I'm just at the foot of the bath. <laughs> You're below me. Right yeah. below me, Davey. They have to wake you up every morning. Oh, man. Davey does wake me up every morning because I have a fan to literally blast him. I got face. a pretty good picture of that. This <laughs> afternoon. Of me sleeping in there? Yeah, look at this guy. He's got his hat on. He's got <laughs> I got it. Where's my phone? I got one mouth <laughs> open. Just keep his his mouth open. <laughs> right the fan is face. literally two inches from his face. Uh, his mouth's <laughs> wide open. Well, it advertised that we had air conditioning. Nope. Not even possible. We, ha- we have a heater. <laughs> in a fireplace. In a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> And it's still 85 in here. Oh, it is balls hot in here. Yeah. That's still 10 times better than what we had last well, time. It is way better. We have a kitchen. You, could you imagine six of us two in bathrooms? bathrooms? That, yeah, two that's bathrooms. Nice. That's Full nice. kitchen. I don't have to move my mattress so people can go outside or go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's, what's everyone's expectations for the rest of the week? Well, I'm killing one tomorrow. Me too. I already called it. Yeah, that's been my goal. Tomorrow, if it's got any type of form whatsoever. <laughs> that honestly, that that white-tailed doe looked really good tonight. But hey, those okay. good eating South Dakota boys were all over. Yeah, I don't know. I would like to say I'd shoot a four corn tomorrow, but after managing this for over a year now, <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to. <laughs> Stuff to, you know. I just don't want to ruin it with the, <laughs> yeah. taking out a bunch of forks, you know. <laughs> no, I I think I'll shoot pretty much anything. It's legal. They're just not here. They are not here. Uh, all right, we'll wrap her up. That's an update. Day, whatever three it is that we just wrapped up. Halfway so. point. Halfway. Hopefully, we have another one tomorrow when someone killed something. That's a wrap. We're going to cut it short today. <laughs> um, uh, it was a, a good week. It ended up with Jake was being the only one harvesting a mule deer um, in his first buck with a bow. So it was pretty cool for um, three of us to be there with him when he did it. Um, pretty awesome. So uh, deer were hard to come by. Also, uh, South Dakota changed their um out of state public land hunting season um, used to be September 1st and they switched it to October 1st. So we had a pretty large influx of um, hunters in the area that we were in. Um, 
and I think that affected the hunting quite a bit. Also, the weather, super hot when we were there. Um, no excuse because we still got on some big deer. We just we just made some bad moves, and uh, yeah, we just couldn't seal the deal. So um, overall, a great hunt, uh, good time with buddies, and a lot of friendships. Um, well, at least I hope some friend, new friendships made, and uh, we'll be back after it again next year. Um, and hopefully, we have more guys harvest some some big, big mule deer in Nebraska. But um, great trip. Um, next up is going to be our podcast where Sander and I are going to recap our Montana trip that'll launch next week. Um, you don't want to miss this because we have some pretty cool stories from that trip that we'd love to share with you guys. So stick around and watch out for that one. Um, also a big thanks to prime archery. Um, also apex gear guys get over there. Risky is the promo code and you guys will receive a discount simply by just using, using that promotion code. Um, and yeah, kind of helps us out a little bit too. So Get over there, get you some gear. Um, good luck this deer season. And uh, yeah, stick around for the next podcast. It'll be coming out next week. Stay stealthy and strive to become a Nimrod. Uh, he's not... Uh, the way we've been managing, though, <laughs> 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 <laughs>